All right, so I've gone through most, most of my checklist, and he's done all right. So I think the next step is we're just going to go ahead and see what he does with this pad. He showed a little concern, a little huffing puffing right there. But I don't sugarcoat this stuff much either. You know, I'll let him look at it. And he's kind of falling asleep on me. Love on his shoulder, and then up and on it goes. But I'm not going to just stop right there. I'm going to make sure to do the same thing on the other side because they see things differently out of each eye. It's a brand new brain over here. Oh, see? Now, here's what happened right there. This is the other side. Same exact thing. That was perfect. Good example right there. And he can't figure out what this is. So I just said different eye, different brain. That was it right there. So I need to get him okay with it on this side. And typically, people don't do things on the right side of the horse. He's really having a problem with this. And they really don't, they don't realize the importance of doing the same amount of work on the right side as you do on the left. You can see this big curled neck right here. He's, he's worried about it. But I am going to come up here. I'm going to let him see that. He can still see it. I don't like the fact that his, his head's curled around so that most of his attention's over there. I need his attention over here, so I'm just going to cluck, bring it back to me. Thank you. He's having a hard time right here. I don't know if it's the rope on the ground. He's having a moment, so I'm going to try to see what that moment is. See what's bothering him. Is it that lead rope? So a lot of times what you don't understand is this lead rope, when it's sitting on the ground like that, what does that look like? Especially if he moves and goes back. That looks like a snake. So that might be what he was worried about. I'm going to try something real quick. I'm just going to pick this up. Yeah, that might have been it right there. When it made a little movement, he got a little worried. I don't want you worried, bud. So it's my job to help him not worry. But I don't want to put any pressure. A lot of people go up there, grab hold of it, and say, nope, you're going to stay here. That's not what I want to do. I want him completely relaxed like he was a little bit ago when I walk up there and do this. He's kind of having a little bit of a moment here. These are all little signs that I'm seeing, and I, I hope you guys are seeing them too. But I know it's a little hard on, on video. But now I'm over here on the scary side. I'm going to pull it down. He's not so worried now. But now if I would have rushed it, he's having a little trouble with this. And that rope right there might have a lot to do with it. But we're going to fix this. No big deal. But this is a prime example of how horses see things differently out of each eye. It's a brand new thing for them over here. All right, let me get up here again. But my energy, my energy is staying the exact same. I'm not worried. I'm not sad, mad, happy. I'm not angry. I'm not frustrated. Nothing. Not a one bit. My energy is completely monotone. So this is perfect. I love this. But you can still see that little curl in his neck there. Not near as bad as it was. But by goodness, remember when I said we're going to find any holes in him? That was one right there. I think it's